Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Woody and today we are here with some Counter-Strike Global Offensive Overwatch gameplay. Now this isn't your typical Overwatch because Overwatch is a team-based multiplayer first-person shooter video game developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. Whereas CSGO is a multiplayer first-person shooter video game developed, developed by Hidden Path Entertainment and Valve Corporation. So, there you go. Basically all CSGO Overwatch is, is I'll run it through you real quick and then we'll get started. Basically, people get reported in the game. People that have a certain rank and a certain amount of wins get granted Overwatch, which is this. So, if it, oh, uh, where's Overwatch? The Overwatch lets the CSGO community regulate itself by allowing qualified and experienced members of the community, investigators, to review reports of disruptive behavior, determine whether those reports are valid, and apply temporary van bans if appropriate. Now, basically, if enough people... if, if this case will go out to me and probably about three or four other people, but, 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 if we all say the same word, it's like we can vote whether they have war hacks, whether they have aim hacks, whether they have bunny hop scripts, or they've been reported for griefing. Now, griefing is shooting teammates, trying to stop teammates getting kills, hurt, damaging teammates, um, trying to basically stop the, their team from winning is any sort of griefing. Now, if you if one if he just randomly goes up to his teammate and shoots him in the head, that's griefing. If it's an accident, it's not. Or if like it's it's or if I think that there's two together, like there's two just like messing about with each other, I won't report it because it's not griefing. They're just having a laugh. But I don't really believe that that's griefing. But some people do. But there you go. Anyway, we will get into it, and I'll be back. Woo! All right, guys, we are back. We are in the case. We are watching the suspect, and it looks like we are on the map cash. Now, the suspect is 21 and 13, he has 4 MVPs, when the second best is 19 and 14, 13 and 18, blah blah blah. There is a guy on the other team going 41 and 9, and they are down 2 rounds. So it looks like the ter terrorists are doing pretty- uh, there. You see, these, this team was doing very well, and this team is just getting carried to fuck, basically. So they have a bot, so... Unless all of a sudden the suspect starts rage hacking, because if you look at his headshot percentage, 50% uh, headshot percentage on the first half, and then he has 100% headshot on the second half. So, I'm not too sure how this is going to work out. And on CT, you can actually see how many players are alive, so say, take these two for example. I mean, he won these just by being on his own. So that makes me th right. So he could either be a smurf, or he could have turned on hacks because this guy could have like some crazy spin bot shit. So we do unpause it, and we are gonna go. We are gonna see just exactly why this guy has been reported. Now, if we actually press control, we can see the other team. Now, Delta, the guy going forty-one and nine, is number five, and he is here. He is right there. Oh, wrong button. So you can actually see through the walls, the blues are his own team, which are counter terrorists. The yellows are the other team, which are terrorists. Delta's just got two kills. There wasn't headshots. Now this guy has an orc. Is he going to... That might have just been a good shot. Uh, okay, that might have just been very lucky. That might have been why he got reported right there. Because he just randomly shot through the smoke. Now they, ha they do have their best player alive. 43 and 9. And the, sus and the suspect is now 23 and 13. See, this is what I like to see. They're not sure where the bomb is. Down smoke. And, okay, well, it's just got a call that's going towards B, so his teammate could have seen it, and he's going to come... Never mind. The other guy took him out. We are back with the next round. The suspect still has an AWP. A-V-A-W-P, sorry. He still has an AWP with the infamous orb and it looks like the terrorists are actually going towards A with the bomb, there's one going towards Squeaky, there is one, there is a few going towards main and the terrorist is just sitting here. But basically the, t the terrorists can go this way to get to here and there and then they can come this way to get to B. This is where the terrorist is. But it looks like all his teammates are all on the site up there but he's just sitting here. Scoped in. And now he's double. And now he crouched. And now he's standing up. Now he finally decides to go. Now that he's seen, oh, Delta's actually dead. So he might. They might have a chance to win this. Who knows? Will he aim in on his enemies? Will he snap? What, oh, there's only one enemy left, and he has 12 HP. Oh, and he just one digged Violet. Oh, get wrecked! Oh, he just one digged another one. Could this be a lobby full of hackers? 
Iguana just got two one D. Now, see, this is what makes me think it's fishy. I'm pretty sure this is just a whole lobby full of hackers. Hackers on the other team and Okay, I'm not sure whether them bunny hops were legit. Basically what bunny hops are if you don't know. Um they're like script where like it makes you go faster and you're not really supposed to do it, but you can do it legit by scrolling the wheel and every time you scroll the wheel, it basically spams the jump button. Like you can um like hotkey yeah, hotkey your jump button to mouse will scroll up. So every time you scroll your mouse up, it will automatically jump. But with um, oh, with bunny hop scripts, sorry I'm falling over my words here, with bunny hop scripts basically what they do is hold down space bar and it auto automatically does it for them and they get like a speed boost, hence why he's always jumping, he's just shot the vent through the other side, there is actually a vent here, now the bomb is stuck in mid and he's just sitting there watching A main, I'm not too sure what he's doing, I guess in case they try to push up through A main, but it looks like they're going to B, they're about to B on B, on B. Now, as soon as he pieces corner, they're going to be there. Will he get them? Or he gets one, and he gets absolutely hammered. We are now on to the third round. The suspect still has 72% headshot rate with an AWP. That is not bad. I'm not sure what he was using the first few rounds. Um, maybe an AK or a pistol or something. Now, he knows there's someone in there. He's aiming awfully close to that, unless he's got godlike reaction. Okay. That might have just been a good flick because he saw him. That was a pretty simple shot because the guy just stood there in front of him. Nothing fishy about that. Because two terrorists have now died on B, they are changing their minds and probably going to try and see if they can get a pick on A, which Iguana has just done. So his teammate's going to run out and then they're going to take the bomb to A, but of course they've called out. The, te the CTs, the terrorists have already been called out, so the suspect is making his way. Will he aim in and see the guy? Did he see him there? He did see him, but I mean, like, did he see him legit? That was just a good shot. He saw him through the box. Well, not through the box, he saw him anyway. Uh, do it to him, do it to him. Wall bang it. I want to see some, I want to see some wall bangs. I want to see you wall bang straight in the face. Go on, do it. Do it. Go on. Oh, he's gonna go for the ninja. Can he get? Will he get ninja? Three, two, one. Oh, he didn't get it. Yeah, uh, he didn't get a ninja. I thought he was about to see a ninja. Right now, the terrorists are actually going B, as you can see, and this guy has a scout. Now, the scout or the SSG isn't as powerful as the orb. It's a two-shot kill, but one-shot headshot. Will he be able to land these headshots, or will he? Oh, there's one. There's two. Nearly got the third. There's the third. And he hit. Okay, well. <laughs> he killed four enemies and managed to hit the fifth as well. My god. Now he has enough to buy an orb. Oh my god. <laughs> that was insane. Ooh, what? So it looks like the terrorists have been like, no, fuck that. I'm not going back to B. So I'm the terrorists are still winning though. So it looks like they've just gone done a five-man push towards A. They're already out of sight. Oh, and he misses his shot as he turned his hacks off. So the Molotov to try and stop the bomb plant, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. There's one terrorist left, and is he? Get and he's dead. Okay, so it actually turns out that Whale, the guy on the right with the AK on CT, actually picked up a fire serpent. So this makes me think that it's not an all hacker lobby because he wouldn't have a, a hacker wouldn't have a fire serpent unless it was just a non-prime game and just happened to get like a couple of hackers on each team. But okay, well them bunny hops don't look legit to me now. I mean they looked uh, at first, but you know, I I can't really. Oh, oh, he almost got his head taken off. Unless this is like fucking global. Oh. He got hit. He got hit through the wall. Then he got tagged straight through the wall. Oh, what? Oh my God! Iguana is insane. Forty-seven and thirteen is the guy on the other team, and the terrorist is thirty-three and sixteen. Oh my lord! The suspect is still yet. Oh, look at that! That got bunny hop in. That was Iguana. Oh my God! Did you see? Did you see that? Let's get a replay. On it. This. Suspect is 
do yet. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, the suspect just spammed through the smoke and got a headshot. Managed to kill Diamond. Managed to tag Iguana. These are some more bunny hops. Yeah, these bunny hops aren't legit. That's another thing we can get him on, guys. Okay, so we can definitely ban him on bunny hops. We can definitely get him on bunny hops. And I'm pretty sure his aim isn't legit because no one has that good of a reaction time. Maybe a pro, but... Okay, well, that was just weird. I don't know how he saw... He might have just slightly seen him, but I'm not sure actually how he actually saw him get up there. They are planting at B. He knows this. That's a, I want to say it's a common spot, but people don't normally pre-fire that, but it is a common spot to look at. Okay, so it looks like the terrorist is actually nowhere to be seen. He's actually saving, which is him here. And the bomb site's here, so he's got blah, 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 blah. Okay, oh, he didn't actually know he was defusing, and now he's coming back through. He's coming through the vent. Too late. Already done. Okay, guys, so I sat and watched it back once again. I've actually decided that he does indeed have aim and vision assistance and bunny hops. But he wasn't griefing. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this Overwatch video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. If you guys like this CSGO Overwatch, make sure to leave a like on the video and comment down below saying... The suspect. I don't know. Just write a suspect in the comment section, then I know that you actually enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button, only if you want to, though, guys. Peace out, and goodbye.